Hi everyone, today we are going to be continuing to work on our long vowel sounds, specifically the magic E. So if you watched last week's video, or the last video that I posted, Ike and Ace, we started talking about just four letter and five letter words that have the magic E on the end. Remember, the magic E helps that vowel in the middle say its name. And if we don't have that magic E on the end, generally that vowel will make it short. So I've got some words on the board that we're going to be seeing in our story today. We can do a lot. And we're gonna go through a few of them as well as some of our high frequency words and then we'll get into our story, okay? So our first one, remember we um, also talked about J and G how they can somehow make the same sound. So for this one, our G is going to make the J sound. Our E is making our A long. So we would say page. Now if we took away the P, what do you think that would say? It would say age. Very good. All right, so here we have a two-syllable word. I always like to throw in the two-syllable words. Now our magic E is going to focus on that vowel right here, the I. This part is short I, so we're going to have N. That's a word by itself, and we know that word. That's one of our high-frequency high words. And then we have a long I, so we would have in invite. invite. All right, next one is a name because we have our capital D here. It is Dave. Good. Next. Now, remember, um, we also talked about last time how our C can also make the S sound, right? So that's what this one is gonna say. It is going to say race. And if we wanted to say rake, Kind of how we talked about face and fake last time. It would have the K. Usually when we have a C followed by the E on the end of the word, it's going to say S. All right, we have another name. K eight, Kate. Now if we were to take away that K, the word would be eight. Like I ate something. Good. Next is bike, rule, and use. All right, well, what if we put an F here? What would that say? I would say fuse. Good. All right. Let's review a few of our letters, our S and our C that can sound the same, the J and the G and the Z and the S. So I'm going to write them up here again for us. And our Z and our S. Okay, so. Um, a lot of these words we talked about last time, so let's look at face and race real quick. Now, both of these have the C and the E. They actually both have ace. That's the same. We're just changing the first letter, and our C is going to make that S sound, okay? Let's look at this one. I think we also did this one last time. Rose, so talking about like the flower, a rose, or I rose up, okay? And we know that just from knowing how to speak English that the S is going to make that Z sound. We don't have a Z here. 
but it's going to make that S sound, rose. I mean, the S is going to make the Z sound, okay? And let's look at one more. Same with this one. It's kind of why is is a high frequency word because if we tried to sound it out, we would say is, is. But we know that's not how we say that, right? All right. And then the J and the G. Now, that's as huge. If we were to take off the E, it would do two things. It would make the U short, right? Because we don't have that magic E on the end, but it would also make the G say G. It would make that hard G sound. That's what we call it, hard G or soft G, okay? But because we have the E on the end, the, our magic E is actually doing two things. It's making our U long, and it's making our G soft. So we say huge, not huge. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and get started with our high frequency words, and then we'll get on with the story. All right, you're lucky. Our first word we just talked about, so you should know exactly what it says. Huge, very good. Our next one, I don't know if we've seen it before, but let me just remind you about our endings. So remember, CK, it's two letters, but it's one sound. So we would have R, A, K, rock. Very good. Next one. Remember, our OR can sometimes say ER and sound like an ER. That's going to say work. All right, we have a two-syllable word. Let's see if you can figure this one out. This one's going to be a little bit tricky. It's not really one that we can sound out. It's going to say machine. Now, sometimes our CH is going to be hard while we're going to say ch. But sometimes, like in machine, it's going to say sh. So it's almost like you want to put that SH there, but it's actually the CH. And then we have INE, right? So based on our magic E rule, you would want to say machine, right? Because we have the I and then the magic E, right? But this is just one of those words that's going to have multiple exceptions. That's why it's a high frequency word because it's just a word that we should be able to recognize, okay? All right, we have three more. A-W is a blend, it says ah, so we would say draw. Next, we actually just talked about this one. Face, that C is making that S sound. And our last one, also a two syllable word, Color. Very good. All right, let's get on to the story. All right, so if you would like to go ahead and read through all of the words on this page, go ahead and pause the video. We only went through a couple of them, but if you are ready, let's go ahead and get started with the story. It's called We Can Do A Lot. Now remember, you're going to read a, a sentence, and then I will read the sentence after you to make sure that you read it correctly. Here's that big word that we just talked about. Tom can work on his big machine. Tom can make a home.
Tom can pick up that huge rock. Jane will draw his face. Jane will use a nice color. Jane can fill a page with his face. Dave and Kate like that game. Dave can tell us the rule. Kate can help us get on base. What game do you think they're playing? We got an exclamation mark there. We can win. Probably playing baseball. Here's our two syllable word. Dave will invite Peg to race him. Peg will ride on a bike. All right, don't let these words trick you. We have an e, e here. So this one's gonna say quite because we have our long I. This one has the CK and not the E on the end. So that's going to make the I short. So it's gonna say quick. Peg is quite quick. Peg will win the race. Dad will bake a fine cake. Dad will sell it. Dad made a huge cake for Miss Rose. Mike can take a long hike. Those words rhyme. Mike can hike up the big hill. Then Mike can hike back. Mike will hike on rocks. And our last page. I like to sing. can sing well at my age. We have a question mark here. Can I sing a nice song? Very good. So next time we are going to be focusing on consonant blends. So that means two consonants. We're done with our vowels for now. Consonants like ST, S T R B L S K P L C L G L 
and PR. Okay, so very good and stay tuned for the next video.